To properly attach the All About the Bait Bonefish Jig Head with the Soft Plastic Esky Shrimp, you want to make sure that your insertion point of the hook, as well as its run through the body of the Soft Plastic Shrimp, is correct. Um, so for example, on the straight version of the Bonefish Jig Head, you want to basically align the bottom of the jig head with the bottom of the shrimp. And you're going to do that by making an insertion point roughly about a third to a quarter from the bottom. And it's very important to have the two bottoms flush because if you have the lead head sitting up towards the top of the shrimp, as it sits, the lead head will tend to roll over and lie on its side because it's top heavy. However, if it's aligned on the bottom, as it hits the bottom, it'll touch the sand as well as the bottom of the shrimp, which will be touching the sand and it'll sit flat with the hook up. Now, not so much different, but you want to on the 30 degree bend hook, since the lead head will sit flat, the actual esky shrimps will actually float because they're semi buoyant, will actually sit flush on the lead head there along the bottom. So you again want to align the bottom of the soft plastic with the bottom point of the bait here. So in this instance, because the hook is actually top centered, you want to insert at the top of the soft plastic shrimp there so it runs along the top. And then that'll get the correct alignment where the two matching points are touching. And then that way the lead head will sit flush on the ground. And that 30 degree angle shrimp will sit up with that tail flapping in the current there. Before we start rigging, we want to measure and identify the spot where we want our hook point to exit the soft plastic shrimp. The way you're going to do that, take your jig head, lie it right next to the side of the bait there. And if you place it, you'll be able to see exactly where you need to have that exit point there. I already know with these Exy Shrimp and this Bonefish Jig Head, the hook length, that it's two and a half sections. So if you count out the main body here is one, body section two, and then a half. That is exactly where you want that hook to exit from. And then you're good to go. Now to rig these Esky Shrimps on the Bonefish Jig, you're going to use kind of a pinching method to keep it centered down the spine of the shrimp. So as we mentioned before, this is the straight one. So we want to go about a third to a quarter from the bottom. And we're just going to insert that in the center and push it straight on until it comes to the curve. Once you've gotten to that point, this is where the pinching comes in. That's going to help you to ensure that that hook runs straight down the spine and comes out the center of the back. So the way you're going to do it is by pinching, puts a little bit of a pressure on it and it'll allow you to force the hook into the bait. And then as you push, this shrimp has to wind up along the curve there in order to get the correct distance. So you're going to squeeze a little bit farther down try to stay perpendicular with the hook point, and then that's what's going to ensure that it stays straight as it curves along that hook line. And then even though it bends, just go ahead and get it centered again, and then run it. And then once you get to the point where you're ready to come out, just squeeze it so it's centered, and then the hook shank and the spine of the shrimp are basically parallel, and then you can bring it out right between your fingers because they're evenly squishing them. And then it'll come right out the center of the spine. That'll allow you to push on the shrimp, butt it up. You can see that we're right flush with the bottom with the bottom. We're squared up, center spine, center of the hook shank. And there you go, that's perfectly rigged. All right, now let's do the 30 degree angled bonefish jig head. Now remember on this one to get the correct alignment, we want to start the point of the hook towards the top quarter to one third and run it along that top edge so the bottom alignment is correct. So once again, we're just gonna find the center, top quarter third, run that hook point, pinch to keep it centered, 
and run it until it gets to the curve there. Grip down to wherever the hook point is and pinch. Keep running it. Keep running it until we get to our exit point. And then ring it out right at the spine there. Bring it around. Got center to center. Insert the bait keeper. And there we go. So bottom flush, bottom flush. Center spine, center spine. And that is perfectly rigged. And that is how you rig your All About the Bait Bonefish Jig Head with an Esky Shrimp.